Hey guys, welcome to my first edition of Minecraft Mod Spotlight. Uh, the first mod I'll be going over today is called Genuine NPC. This is going to be version 3.2 for Minecraft, uh, the beta version 1.8.1. And the author, of course, is Genuine Sounds. So now that we got that over, let's get started. Alright, the first thing I want to go over is the concept of this mod. Now, what this mod is all about is it creates these NPC that roam the world and they are spawned by items which are called spawn totems which you can create yourself or you can go across your world and find them and of course find those little guys I'm not really sure yet if it only generates this mod in uh, new chunks or on preloaded chunks but uh, of course I have here a brand new map with the mod installed so it should be in so First, I want to go over the items that are involved in this mod. Um, you see these right here. They have the human brain, the zombie brain, superior human brain, superior zombie brain, the barrier totem, the spawning totem as we went over before, and these trophies right here. So let's take these guys out. Put the trophies here in my inventory for now. And let's go over these. Alright, so. As you can see here, I have a little pal here that's named Gypsus, level 2. He's a little dude, but he is very friendly. These are what we call friends that are part of the mod. And then you have enemies, which are zombies, but they have the same concept as these little human guys. So, you will find these guys roaming around the world. Um, once again, they are spawned by something you call totem poles, which I have right here. And let's now make these guys pop up. And put this thing down. As you can see, that's what a totem looks like. You can right click it and it has an option. You have either friends or enemies. Of course, friends being the humans and the enemies being zombies once again. And just for now, for the purpose of this spotlight, we're going to choose enemy. So what we're going to do is, you can uh, go around, find these guys, and you can fight them out. Kill these guys, they drop items. Let's see if I can find another one. There you guys are. So there's some more humans that seem to wander away from the totem, but we'll find them. So, duh. Sorry, pal. I gotta die. Come here. Oh, yeah, by the way, something about these guys that I have not mentioned yet. Oh, and they, you see that they dropped uh, brains that you can pick up. Uh, side note. These guys will fight mobs, whether they're farm mobs or what I want to call, I guess, dangerous mobs, uh, spiders, skeletons, zombies, etc. They will fight them. Um, as for the enemies, I'm not really sure. I've seen them fight uh, friendly mobs such as sheep, cows, chickens, but I have yet to see them fight any mobs besides that. What you need to do is get the brains from either humans or zombies and once you get those brains, you can use them to tame these guys and they will follow you and they will be under your command. Of course, you need brains from the opposite. Um, I guess I want to call them faction. Oh, there they go. So there's the zombies. During nighttime, they are very vicious. They will attack, but during the daytime, they will leave you alone. So you can see here, they drop zombie brains and I'm picking them up. So just for now, uh, zombie brains we have. We can go ahead to these humans. As I said, you need to get the opposite brains. Click on this guy, and he is tamed. Uh, as you can see, his skin changed a bit. Um, he's half man, half zombie, and he is mine. His name is—you can see that it adds turned to the end of it. Uh, his name, and that just means that he is under my influence. So if I can go over here and find the zombie one, there we go. He was going to attack me, but. Uh, if I recommend him, he turns to the redeemed, and that's how you can distinguish which one used to be a zombie and which one used to be a human. And for some reason, it wants to attack me. I'm guessing that's a bug that's in place right now. I've had this happen to me before where I love them up, and then out of nowhere, sometimes they just randomly turn on me. As you can see, these guys are fighting skeletons over here, and I probably want to kill them too. Go get him, Kit Reb. Yeah, that's my little buddy. And uh, one thing, oops, I did not mean to kill you. I don't want to kill you either. 
Alright, one thing I forgot to mention is these guys do spawn, whether it's on Peaceful or any other difficulty. They will still spawn, so you have to watch out for that. And holy crap, that's what I'm talking about. These guys will spawn randomly. This is a level 39 one, which has a possibility of one hitting. So I gotta make sure I keep my distance from this guy. And they are dangerous. Holy crap, alright. <laughs> so you can see during nighttime, they will attack you, and they are pretty damn vicious. So we have that. Now, the one thing you can do with these guys is, as you see here, I'm collecting brains, and hopefully that wasn't my little guy, because... I would be pretty sad. Oh, it was. So one of my guys died, and I have to take on a new friend. So you can go ahead and get another one right here. Now, oh, no, he's still alive. Yay. So with the zombies that you kill and pick up their brains, you can get these stacks of them. You can actually level your guys up by taking these and right-clicking on them. And you can see that they level up as you pick it up. Of course, also level up by experience. Holy crap, why is he dying? They also level up by experience, so uh, the more they fight, the more they will level up. There we go. And then also, I forgot to mention this, you have control over these guys, so... Let's say you have problems with him pushing to lava or something like that. You can just right click on him and it says staying, and he will no longer follow you, no matter how far away you go. And there's a creeper. And there's something behind me. It's a cactus. You see the cactus sneak up on me? <laughs> um, anyways, uh, where did he go? I think he's actually, like I said, there's still some bugs to this, but it's it's a work in progress. It's, it's still a pretty good mod. Um, but once again, you can just right click on him and, oh, now he says following, so now he will follow me to the end of the world. As you can see, pretty far away, and he would just spawn right here. There we go. So they spawn and everything, and yep, more brains to go. You can see a creeper was killed right there, and holy crap, another level 24. The higher the level, the more dangerous they are. Um, I think the highest level is level 50. So you can see I'm, I'm pretty much enjoying myself here with all these guys. <laughs> but they are after me, holy crap. So that's one thing you guys gotta watch, watch for when you're playing with this mod, is make sure you are prepared to be attacked out of nowhere. So now you have the superior zombie brains and the superior human brains. Now, whether you use them to, I guess, change them to your side, I have no idea if it has any difference between using regular brains. You can see here, I'll make this guy mine. Looks the same, same level and everything, but one thing that's different between these two is the superior brains, when you click and level them up, they level them up much, much quicker. As you can see, almost every click is leveling them up. Uh, level 30, I'm laying halfway through the stack, and it's higher than this guy right here, which I had from the beginning. So, that's that right there. But then, they also have different uses. Um, if I can find my sticks real quick. So anyways, with these sticks and the superior brains, you can make the totem poles themselves. The spawning one for zombie brains, or the superior zombie brain, should I say. And then with the human one, you can get the barrier. Now, what these barriers do is, let me put this back real quick. What these barriers do is, they make a barrier where these guys cannot cross, so let's say you have a house that you don't want them approaching or something, you can just right click it and you can see it has a glow to it. And you can change the value of how big the barrier should be. I'm going to put the sink sink. They have uh, no visible effect, but I think they work. I don't know yet. Um, let's... There we go, I banished the... Let's see what that is. Oh yeah, by the way, another thing about this is it has a lot of achievements for you to do. Um, I gotta find out what a banished the is, because I don't know what it is yet. Banish a mob, so there we go. I guess what it does is if they cross this little barrier, I'm guessing 16 means 16 blocks, so either 16 by 16 or something similar, if they cross that, they will disappear and be gone. So that's the barrier. So we've gone over the barrier, uh, totem, the spawning totem, the brains. All that's left now are these trophies right here. Um, I have yet to figure out how to get these trophies, but they do have uses to them. 
So the silver one right here, when you place it down, it's a chicken. But is it? No. You can right click it and you have more options. You can select which mob to display, and these are the standard mobs. Uh, Cave Spider, Enderman, NPC Friend, NPC, uh, sorry, that's, yeah, NPC Enemy, Cow, Creeper, etc. You get the idea. Let's pick a pig zombie right now, and you can also change the size, so you can go from microscopic to two blocks tall, I think, or, I uh, mean, yeah, that's probably four blocks tall, considering this is three right here. So you have that right there, and then you have the gold one. Um, once again, I have no idea what their effects are, but that's what it does. It makes a little guy, and this is for the friends and enemies. Uh, friend or enemy level 1, and then an enemy level 50. It's just what they are. But that's all there is to that, and I'm not really sure if they always face north, but let's see. You, know, you can destroy them and pick them back up. I think it's... Yeah, I think it always faces north. Yep. Okay, so they face north, and that's surprising, but I did not know until now. So, yeah. Um, I think that's all I have for now. You guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves by clicking the link below in the description bar, which will take you to the mods page, which has a download link, screenshots, and as well as other information such as recipes, features, and other things you're curious about. Uh, so wrapping this up, uh, I highly suggest this mod if you're looking for a little more interaction in single player survival, as well as you don't feel like a boss walking down your map with a couple guys in your back. <laughs> but other than that, this is the weapon signing off saying game on and I hope you guys enjoy yourselves.